Hello guys, my name is Zarad and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how to install Python in your operating system using the Anaconda or a Miniconda uh, Python installers. No, Python distribution that is. Now, uh, if you want to install Python in your operating system, you have multiple options available. One of the classical ways is to go for the pip installers or the basic Python installers and then go from scratch. But uh, if you if you are some kind of a person who are, main, who are working with multiple packages, let's say, and you want to make your life much simpler, then there are distri package distributions for Python like Anaconda over here. Okay, and you also have a simpler version of Miniconda, both of them provided by the company Continuum Analytics. Okay, and also you have another Python distribution from Nthought, a company called as Nthought. Okay, which is also equal, which is also a good try if you if you guys want. Okay, now I'm going to tell you guys how to do this in Anaconda with Anaconda Python. Okay. Uh, the reasons why I chose Anaconda Python or Miniconda Python instead of uh, pip installers is because it's much easier to work with. Installing and ma maintaining packages is easy. Uh, man you can maintain multiple environments and update them seamlessly without much issue and you don't get to disturb your system Python. Especially if you're running with uh, Linux operating systems, that's the reason why I chose. And if you guys want more elaborate details on the differences, uh, there's an there's I already posted video stating the differences between pip and conda installers. You can have a look at that. Now, that being aside, let's get into the main uh, topic today. Uh, let's install Python in your operating system with uh, Anaconda distributions. So what do you do? Just go to this website, Condium.io over here, Condium.io, and depending on when you look at it, the website will be <laughs> slightly different. Nevertheless, uh, look for a option called as Downloads and click that, and you should be redirected to a Downloads page in the comp Downloads page. Why is my yeah, internet a little slow? Anyway, now. Here you should be getting an option to download your distribution for Windows, Mac, Mac OS X, and your Linux. So depending on which version of Lin Python you want and the technology, the bit technology that your your system is, your system uses, you can download which of which of them, one of them. Thing is, the Anaconda installer, you Anaconda Python distribution is quite big in size. Okay, and if you guys are like you just want a simple version wherein you just have the core utilities of Python and then you can build it on your choice, then uh, you can try Miniconda. Miniconda is the simplified version of Anaconda of a packaged Python distribution wherein it just has the core installers, core good Python utilities, and afterwards you can uh, install your uh, libraries as per your choice. Whereas Minicon, whereas Anaconda comes with the core Python utilities and a wide variety of packages to start with. You can pick any one of them. Nevertheless, the procedure afterwards is same. Now, you just download the package of, download the installer and then, and then, now I'm going to shift the, shift my work to my virtual, virtual machine. Um, I already have it downloaded, uh, downloaded and I have the setup over here. Now, in this video, I'll be telling you guys how to install it, install this. Now, just open a terminal open a terminal make sure this terminal is in the same points to the same folder where you have the installer ready and press first of all press ls with minus l and if, and what you have to do is when you look at the file over here the anaconda file or the miniconda file whichever you download okay make sure this uh, you have you have uh, in, in this location you have x in this in these names in this string over here this means that this file has executable permissions sometimes if your terminal is colored just like what I have then it will be in the indicated with the green color if not you just list the files and see if it has a x, x in this stream if not what you do is that you just make you have to make it executable so type chmod plus x plus x and then your file name and press enter and that's it now it will be uh, now it is executable once this is done okay you're good to go so you clear your terminal and then start uh, let me I mean go to my home folder okay uh, there's a reason why and then type bash and then your file anaconda or miniconda just type that and you press enter now it will show a welcome message 
okay so presented to cut new now you will show you an entire license agreement you have to read this through okay I've read this several times so I can skip it directly by pressing Q so if you're reading it for the first looking installing it for the first time just have a look at it okay and it says do you agree the license term agreement yes I do so I press enter and then it shows me the, the folder a uh, place to install my Python install Python now by default the installation process is home user anaconda 3 okay my install is uh, python 3.5 with uh, anaconda so it's showing anaconda 3 if you're using so if you're using anaconda or miniconda you'll get the name as anaconda or miniconda if you're using python 2.7 it'll, it'll be just plain name okay sometimes okay, plain name if you're using the 3.5 installer you might you will have a 3 in the front okay you will have a 3 in the front depending on your anaconda or miniconda version you choose sometimes you might get something called as mini, uh, 2 in the front okay it just means that you are using a 2.2.7 in python 2.7 in your distribution that's the thing now I'm happy with this page so you can, I'm just going to press enter so if you're not happy with this location you can specify your own location location so I'm okay with that if I press enter if you look at the background there there is a folder created called as anaconda 3 now that's how we do it now if you just now what you have to do just sit back and wait for this installation to complete uh, this will take a while uh, so I'm just going to pause the video and come back in a second okay guys welcome back now that took a while but anyway now the installation is over almost over now if you look at it if you just look at this uh, it just shows you how many packages that have installed so far and now you're in the end of it now it just says do you want the installer to prepare the anaconda 3 install location to path in your home ub home user bash rc file by default it says no but i pre pre suggest you to type yes and proceed with it and once you do that your installation is ready okay now to get this insta uh, to get this uh, updated so just uh, ex exit your terminal and open a new terminal okay or you can you know restart your terminal by typing that source dot source dot bash rc whichever is convenient now if you type now if you type python okay you you should get something like this okay it says python 2 and along with it you should you will get a message like this Ana it says anaconda 4.2 something okay once you g if this if you get this information then you're good to go it means you have it successfully installed python in your operating system using the anaconda or miniconda installer okay i'm using anaconda installer so it, sh it shows anaconda if you're using miniconda it will show miniconda and that's about it okay and uh, i was using me uh, download the python 3.5 installer so i'm getting this if you're using a python 2.7 installer you should get python 2.7 point uh, you know uh, any version of any version that is relevant okay now with uh, with that your python python is ins uh, successfully installed now if you want to access your system python let's say okay it's easy just type python 2 and you will be able to access your python 2.7 that is deep in your system okay and suppose if you want to access your python 3 let's say that is that is available in your system just type python 3m 3m and press enter you'll be able to access your system python okay this way okay you're not med me you're not messing up with your system python that is already existing in your operating system okay anaconda just uh, and uh, anaconda install just add another version of python in your operating system which does not disturb it so if you want to delete your installation all you have to do is just go and delete this folder and that's it your system will remain intact and not, uh, not uh, no harm whatsoever will be caused because of that now that's all i have for you guys in this one now in the next tutorial next video i'll be telling you guys how to install packages in your packages using conda so see you guys then